Hi, this is Pete from bloggingenius.net. I just want to go over the, the cPanel with you. When you. After you get your hosting details, you will be given a login uh, login email, uh, login pass, username and password. And once you've logged in, this is what you'll be presented with. Now, don't be too alarmed. There's actually not that much in here that we're going to be using for the purpose of installing WordPress anyway. But in this video, I want to show you how to add your domain. So if we go down to here, where it says domains and add on domains. Now, here is where we can add a domain. So now, yesterday, in the, in the last video, I bought this domain. So peachblog.com. So now this is where it's going to go. We need to put a password, retry the password, okay, now I've, I've actually already added this domain, but this is what you have to do, so here in the domain name, you put your URL, so the URL you bought from Namecheap or from whoever you use to buy your name, your URL, and it is also redirected to your hosting company, so if you're using D9, then it will be at D9. If you're using HostGator or Bluehost, then it will be at them. But this is where we put our name servers in at Namecheap in the previous video. And now we're telling our hosting company that this URL has been redirected to them. So all you do then is click on Add Domain. I'm not going to do it because I've actually already done it. So this is what we have to do. So your domain name, so it's peachblog.com. This is a subdomain and FTP username, Pete's blog. Make sure you take copies of all this and keep a, a file of it. In fact, we'll do that now. So it's peachblog.com. Copy that. Paste it in there. Pete's blog. So that now is my FTP username. So if I put that in as FTP user, paste that. And this here is your document, your root directory. So it's public underscore HTML forward slash peachblog.com. Now, it is a good idea to record everything. Keep a file, uh, make a spreadsheet. I tend to do it in Notepad and then transfer all the information after into a spreadsheet. Okay, that's it for that. Now, for the next job that we're going to do, now that we've done that, we're going to add an email account. So, you choose... Here, you can put anything you like. So it could be Pete at peachblog.com. It can be admin at peachblog.com or support at peachblog.com. You can actually do anything you like and it will always be at then your URL. So whatever your URL is and then before that you can put your name, you can put support, admin, you know, I'm going to do this one as support. I've already done one as Pete at peachblog.com. It keeps it a little bit personal. So do password, password again. And create the account. There we go. Created account, support at peachblog.com. Then you access your email from here I'll give you a login detail a login attempt failed okay So 
if it remembers it this time. There we go. It gives you the choice of uh, read your mail using Horde, Squirrel Mail, or Rank You. I always use Squirrel Mail. And that's it. It's just a basic uh, inbox. You can forward your email to uh, using pop servers. Um, I don't know how to do it because I always access mine through my um, through my CPAN. Okay, go back to CPanel. So that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Fantastico Deluxe. Now, if you have a Bluehost account, here you will have a WordPress sign. And this is for installing WordPress on your domain. We don't have that in D9 hosting, but it's not a massive problem because Fantastico Deluxe, I'll just quickly show you now. This will all be done in the next video. Here you have B2 Evolution, Nucleus and WordPress. You also have content management of Drupal, Joomla, PHP Nuke and so on and so forth, PHP websites. We don't have to worry about any of that. WordPress is the only one that we're going to be worried about. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.